Yo, check this out. I have a risk register course that teaches you how to build a risk register in SharePoint. The point of that is so that you could take advantage of all of the cool features that SharePoint has that make it 10 times better than putting it inside of Excel. For instance, you get automated notifications. So when things are happening on your risk register, you get to get automated notifications out of the box. You don't have to do anything above custom. But then in the same course, I teach you one basic way to use Power Automate to get your own customization, like, you know, your own customized emails. Also, views. I teach you how to use views so that you can segment your data. In other words, what you would do in Excel with the tabs, like workbooks, you would make different workbooks and try to keep those sets of data in sync. We don't do that in SharePoint. We actually create views while the data stays all in sync, but you just get to view it a whole bunch of different ways. I teach you how to do that. I also teach you how to do risk mitigation. Like where do you set up your tasks? So I show you how to do it inside of a SharePoint list. And then I show you how to do it inside of a, inside a planner. I just added a module to the course that shows you how to create your mitigation tasks inside of Asana. In other words, you're sitting in SharePoint, you're looking at your risks, you click a button, fill out a form, it goes and creates a task inside of Asana. Yes, two separate tools talking to each other. And again, out of the box stuff, we're not getting super customized here. We're using tools that are available to us in the Microsoft 365 suite. Let's jump into my computer so I can show you what that looks like. Okay, so I wanna start here in Asana. I actually have two sets of tasks here, but the one I wanna show you is mitigation tasks. And this one right here it says, if wildlings resist joining forces with the Night's Watch, then we'll face potential conflict and lack of cooperation during the battle. This already exists. When I open it up, you can see there's a link back to the SharePoint item. There's uh, me who's assigned to it. It's on this board, obviously, all of this stuff. So it's already good to go. But obviously, one risk can have multiple tasks. So that one task is related to this one right here. Item number eight, risk with the risk ID number eight. The one that says John Snow should build trust, communicate clearly, you know, offer incentives, all that kind of stuff. So to build trust, um, we can do some different activities. So maybe with the wildlings, we can, um, you know, have a, you know, have a party or something. So I want to create that task off of this risk. So I'm going to say create task. I'll click that button. Then I'll enter a task. Let's throw a party and have fun. I'm going to pick a due date. Let's say that we need to do this by Tuesday. Then I'll hit run flow. And look at that. You saw it jump in there. Let's throw a party and have fun. When I click on it, what do you see? A link back to that item in SharePoint. Let's throw a party and have fun. I'm automatically assigned. It's due on the 23rd. If I click this link back to SharePoint, then here it is. The same um, risk. See right here? All that stuff. Yeah, if you want to know how to do this, look in the description. You'll find the link to the course. And I'll see you on the inside.